Those of you following our channel will remember the weekly tutorial videos where we dove deep into DeFi projects and showed you how to use them with a step-by-step -step guide. Now we're bringing them back in the form of sponsored content, meaning that this video was commissioned by Lido, but it was researched and created by the Defiant team while maintaining our standards of objectivity. Today, we're going to be talking about Ethereum's most popular liquid staking protocol, Lido, and how you can use its tokens on Layer 2 blockchains, Arbitrum, and Optimism. You've likely heard plenty about Layer 2s, and that's because Layer 2 blockchains are central to Ethereum's scaling roadmap. And with a lot of today's activity expected to migrate over to L2s, it's important to know how and why you might want to consider using your favorite DeFi applications there. Lido is just one of many blue chip DeFi protocols that have made their debut on layer 2 blockchains last year. And although it takes a little bit of extra work, using Lido's wrapped staked ETH token on Arbitrum and Optimism makes it possible to put the token to work while avoiding the exorbitant transaction fees of the Ethereum mainnet. As of January 24th, Lido is the largest protocol in decentralized finance as measured by Total Value Locked or TVL because ETH deposits on Lido are now worth more than $8 billion. Like other liquid staking protocols, Lido promises to let you have your cake and eat it too. Let me explain. In September, Ethereum transitioned to proof of stake technology, slashing the blockchain's worldwide energy use by an estimated 99%. But it also changed how users secure the network. Rather than running energy guzzling computations for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Users can now stake or lock up their Ether and earn modest annual rewards for validating transactions. But hold on a second, you need at least 32 ETH to run a validator. That's a lot of money. By today's rates, we're talking about $50,000. So protocols like Lido actually make it possible for smaller investors to stake by batching user deposits to hit that 32 ETH threshold and then finding node operators who can validate transactions on the user's behalf. But Lido isn't just a staking protocol, it's a liquid staking protocol. That's because it also provides a solution for the opportunity cost that comes with staking. When your ETH is locked up, you can't put it to use in more lucrative DeFi protocols. But when you stake ETH through Lido, it issues an equivalent amount of new tokens called staked ETH. And that staked ETH can be traded, lent, borrowed, and used for yield farming, just like the token that backs it. Now, Lido isn't without its critics. It is by far the largest liquid staking provider, and Ethereum researcher Danny Ryan has warned that this could make it vulnerable to censorship demands and other abuses of power that blockchain technology was developed to circumvent in the first place. And there are alternative protocols that offer greater decentralization because ownership of Lido's governance token is concentrated in the hands of the Lido DAO, whales, and venture capitalists. Also, the selection of node operators is made by the relatively decentralized organization that governs it, which is a point of weakness in the eyes of decentralization maximalists. Nevertheless, its staked ETH token is perhaps the most useful liquid staking token today, compatible with a wide array of crypto protocols, including Layer 2 blockchains Optimism and Arbitrum. So let's talk a bit more about those. To transfer Lido's wrapped staked ETH to Optimism, we have to use the Optimism bridge. Once the tokens are transferred, they can be used on four decentralized exchanges. That's Beethoven, Curve, Kyber Network, and Velodrome. They can also be used on the lending platform KeyDAO. Optimism saves on transaction fees by rolling up transaction data. Layer 2 blockchains are also called rollups for this reason. They bundle the data into batches and then settle them. This data is sent back to the Ethereum mainnet to be validated. And the savings are substantial. According to the website L2 fees, it was 80% cheaper to send ETH on Optimism compared to mainnet on January 24th. Transferring wrapped staked ETH to Arbitrum is no different than moving it to Optimism. To do so, we use Arbitrum's native token bridge, the Arbitrum bridge, and we pay the necessary layer one and layer two fees. DeFi options with wrapped stake ETH on Arbitrum are decentralized exchanges Balancer, Curve, Kyber Network, and Camelot. And we also have the options exchange Premium. Like Optimism, Arbitrum is a rollup with transaction fees far lower than those on the Ethereum mainnet. According to L2 fees, sending ETH on Arbitrum costs around 12 cents 
compared to the $2.58 it costs on Ethereum, which makes it about 95% cheaper. And now that we understand how Optimism and Arbitrum work, let's talk about the benefits of staking. When users stake their Ether on Lido, the rewards they earn are reflected in the changing daily balance of their staked ETH, or STETH, or STETH, staked ETH. This process is called a rebase. That's why wrapped staked ETH is needed. Because according to Lido's L2 lead, Justin David Reyes, the fluctuating balance of staked ETH doesn't play so nicely with bridges or DeFi protocols. And according to Lido's website, some DeFi protocols require a constant balance mechanism for tokens. And that's where wrapping comes in. Wrapping the staked ETH creates a token whose value actually stays constant. The staked ETH rewards continue to accrue, but they're not redeemed until the tokens are unwrapped. In an example Lido gives on its website, one might wrap 100 staked ETH tokens, get back slightly fewer after paying the transaction fee, and then eventually receive 101 staked ETH tokens upon unwrapping. So moving wrapped staked ETH to L2 protocols allows you to earn staking rewards and put wrapped staked ETH tokens to use in DeFi protocols, but you can do so at a much lower cost than doing so on Ethereum mainnet. Every month, Lido allocates liquidity incentives across the blockchains it serves. In January, Lido set aside roughly 300,000 worth of LDO for Arbitrum and Optimism, but there are different opportunities on each chain. Users can provide liquidity on four decentralized exchanges on Arbitrum and Optimism. Those on Arbitrum can also use the Options Exchange Premium, while Optimism users can take advantage of the lending platform KeyDAO. As of January 24, there are several lucrative opportunities to provide liquidity on Arbitrum, including wrapped staked ETH to USDC and wrapped staked ETH to ETH pools on Kyber, which, as you can see, offered APRs of 76% and 23% respectively. On Optimism, liquidity providers could net APRs of 16% in the ETH to wrapped staked ETH pool and 167% in the USDC to wrapped staked ETH pool. So let's put all of this into practice. We're gonna start by figuring out how to stake ETH on Lido. So when we go to Lido.fi, we see this lovely banner informing us that we can bridge wrapped staked ETH to Arbitrum and Optimism to benefit from lower gas fees and exciting DeFi opportunities. So let's go ahead and get our hands on some wrapped stake teeth on Lido before moving over to Arbitrum and Optimism. We're going to start by connecting our wallets. So we click on stake Ethereum and it takes us to this page where we click on connect wallet. Now I'm already logged in to MetaMask, so I don't have to put my password in, but that's something you should do if you haven't already logged in. So at this point, it shows me how much ETH I have available for staking, and I'm not gonna stake all of it like a true degen, because then I won't have any money left for gas fees. I learned that the hard way, wouldn't recommend it. It's a bit of a nightmare. So we're gonna select an amount that's lower than the maximum amount of ETH in our MetaMask wallet. For the sake of this video, I will go ahead and put exactly half. Then we submit the transaction and we'll get a nice pop-up from MetaMask asking us to approve the transaction. We scroll down. We're confronted by the harsh reality of how much gas we have to pay. We confirm the transaction. We receive a confirmation of the transaction. We see the new staked ETH balance. We can close this. Now that we have our staked ETH, we can move over to the wrap tab right here, and we're gonna follow pretty much the same steps to turn our staked ETH into wrapped staked ETH. We're gonna unlock the token first. We approve that transaction over in the MetaMask wallet tab. Scroll down. Again, I have to pay gas fees. I confirm and wait. Now that we've approved the transaction, we can go ahead and wrap the correct amount of staked ETH which again creates a MetaMask notification screen. We're gonna confirm, probably have to pay gas again. We certainly do. And this is why it's really important to not max out the first transaction because you're gonna run out of ETH and you can't confirm future transactions. So we've wrapped our 0.14 staked ETH, which has now become 0.14 wrapped staked ETH. Congratulations. And now that we've staked our ETH and wrapped it, we can bridge our tokens over to Arbitrum and Optimism. Let's have a look at how we do that. To bridge wrapped staked ETH to Arbitrum, we go to the Arbitrum bridge and we connect the wallet once again as such. 
Now that my wallet's connected, I select wrapped staked ETH from the from mainnet dropdown menu, and I enter the amount that I wanna bridge from Ethereum. And again, I don't wanna use all of it because I want some funds to be left to bridge over to Optimism. I can select half of the wrapped staked ETH token amount that I have in my wallet, and I can move those funds over to Arbitrum. Again, the amount of gas fee that I have to pay is on screen. We confirm the transaction. Once the transaction is confirmed in MetaMask, we get a notification that it takes about 15 minutes for the bridging to be completed. And the process is very similar on Optimism. We go over to the Optimism bridge. We select wrapped staked ETH. We hit approve and we pay the gas fees. We confirm the transaction. Once the transaction is confirmed, the tokens are on Optimism. We're ready to trade on DEXs, lend on KeyDAO, or use them to provide liquidity. Most economic activity on Ethereum is expected to migrate to Layer 2 networks in the coming years. And while new Layer 2 technology is on the way, keep an eye out this year for protocols that leverage zero-knowledge technology. Optimism and Arbitrum are the industry leaders, blockchains with deep and growing ecosystems that already handle hundreds of thousands of transactions each day. And to boost the use of wrapped stake teeth on Layer 2, Lido has made hundreds of thousands worth of liquidity incentives available to those who make the jump. And it's worth mentioning that traders with millions in capital are called whales. They make up just 5% of the wallets that hold staked ETH, but they're active. More than half of them put it to work in DeFi liquidity mining, or they use it as collateral while lending and borrowing. On the other hand, the shrimp, krill, and plankton, as Lido calls them, the average retail traders just passively hold it while earning modest rewards for helping to contribute to Ethereum security. The biggest wallets are the most active traders in terms of taking advantage of the opportunities that are available. And speaking of layer twos, staked ETH can be wrapped so that it plays nicer with DeFi. And all of this risk aside, trading on Ethereum can be costly due to the network's high transaction fees. So anyone willing to take the risk that comes with trading or liquidity provision can now save money by moving their wrapped staked ETH to Arbitrum or Optimism, which as we stated are layer two networks that are both growing rapidly. Currently, several DEXs will accept your wrapped staked ETH. To learn more about how to do this and what opportunities are available, visit Lido's website and the crypto data platform Dune. We're gonna include some links down below for convenience, so check those out if you want to learn more. Thank you for tuning into The Defiant, and if you have any video suggestions, drop them in the comments below.